thank you so much. So very much for ruining my birthday. You've really surpassed yourself. The worst day of my life and it's all down to you. It's deliberate, isn't it? Isn't it? You wake up in the morning and you think, what can I do to drive him out today? Don't you? Don't you? Well, say something. I do my best. Well, thanks to you and your blundering stupidity, that gruesome little ginger nut Deborah is within a cat's whisker of finding the last gold bell. But well, things are I... going to change around here beginning now. This is my last chance of foiling Deborah and you're not going to mess it up. But I can help. Not this time. I'm very sorry, T-shirt, but what I'm about to do is for my own good. What are you talking about? Turn around. What's the big idea? Quiet! Hubble, bubble, nothing but trouble. Magic vanish at the double! No! Oh, what did you have to go and do that for? It's no use. It's gone. Your magic, all gone. After all I've done for you. Exactly. What am I supposed to do without any magic? Answer me that. What you're best at? Making, Making tea. tea. Oh, that would be a real bundle of fun, that will. No more getting about for you, my lad. You're going to stay here. What? Here, all the time? All the time, where you can do no harm. But that's not fair. I haven't done anything to deserve this. That's for me to decide. A cup of tea, s'il vous plaît. And don't sulk. Seven gold bells. <laughs> Only one more to get. That'll put Teabag's nose right out the joints. Well, let's start looking then. Hiya. Oh, I didn't see you there. You are a stranger here. I can tell. That's right. You want holiday? Some holiday. You on your own? Yes. Oh, you want to be careful. This isn't a place to be wandering around alone. There's a lot of bad people about. Seems pretty quiet to me. Don't you believe it? There's thieves and vagabonds crawling from under every stone. You want to be careful. Do you live round here? Not far. I'm Nick Did. You can call me Nick. I'm Debbie. Pleased to meet you, Nick. But I've really got to be on my way now. Going already? What's the hurry? Felicia, I've got to find a little gold bell. There's not much more time. I know this place like the back of my hand. I could tell you where to look. That would be kind. Think nothing of it. Let's think. Bells, bells, gold bell. I know the best place to look would be the Temple of Bells, up on the hill. That sounds promising. Now do be careful. There's thieves lurking in every shadow in this place. And one could... Look out, quick! What's the matter? But... Shh. I can't see anything. Over there, in those shadows. Be very quiet and very still. Don't move. Good. He's gone. Oh. It's safe now. But who was it? Who knows? But you're safe now anyway. Right. Where is this temple of bells then? It's through there and up on the hill. I must say, it's nice to run to somebody who's so helpful and kind. Thank you. Don't thank me. Just go, please, quickly. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, easy. Too easy. Master, master, I'm back. You're too late. You've missed your tea. There's nothing left. But I... You should have been here before. What kept you? You told me not to come back here empty-handed. So I did. Well, what have you got for me this time? It'd better be good. I told you to steal things that are worth something. Valuable things. Look inside. Mm. By Jupiter! Gold! <laughs> I got them off a little girl in the market. Oh, this is excellent stuff. I felt really rotten about tricking her like that. She was nice. This lot's worth a mint. You've made me feel like a real little thief. You are a real thief. Only because you forced me. I don't like stealing. I hate it. I don't want to do it anymore. Huh. Then I take it you'd like to see your poor old father and mother out in the streets. No. Or maybe just a short visit to my snake pit. 
Oh, I'm sure your mother would like that. Snakes slithering all around her. Stop it! She wouldn't want to move, would she? One of those naughty snakes might bite her. Stop it! I can't bear it! <laughs> Very well. You'll go out robbing and thieving until my treasure room is packed tight to the ceiling. You understand? Yes, master. Well, go on, then. Don't stand round here looking gormless. Go out and get me some more goodies. What about my tea? I told you, didn't I? It's all... Oh, things are really looking up. I don't know how and I don't know why, but Deborah and the Bells seem to have parted company. How is we could part company? Getting them back should be a piece of cake, especially now that you can't throw a spanner in the works. I'm just going to change. Oh, we'd better put you out of harm's way. I think we don't want any nasty rubbers getting their sticky fingers on you, do we? Now that, I think that's that. Oh, after all that hard work, I feel a bit uh, peckish. A little snack, I think. Hmm. Right. This is it, then. I'm off. Goodbye, tea room forever. And goodbye, tea bag as well. It's been really horrible knowing you. stuffing his face. That gives me an inspired idea. He obviously has his heart set on hanging on to those bells. And the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. No. No. Ah, at the last, you're back. I'm starving. I haven't eaten all I day. I told you, you have to earn your keep. I am earning my keep. I'm out day and night turning my key. Don't talk back to me. Well, it's not fair. I've been out for hours now. And what have you got to show for it? Any more of those golden bells? Oh, I like them. A few more like that. I, I might let you off a punishment for being so late. Funny you should say that, Master. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You've got some more. Excellent. One. One. Is that it? You came back with seven the last time. Why only one? I did my best. Your best is not good enough. Can I have something to eat now, please? Something to eat? For this? Mm. Now, what's it worth? I reckon it's, uh, there. One grape? Chuck in. One measly grape? Don't eat them all at once. That's it. I've had all I can take. I'm not going to steal for you anymore. You are a thief. And you'll always be a thief. I want more loot, boy. Now, get out. Nick! Nick! Of course he wouldn't be here, would he? Steals my bells. Sends me off on a wild goose chase to a temple of bells that wasn't even there. He certainly wouldn't hang around waiting for me to come back. I'll never find him now. What am I going to do? Keep looking, I suppose. Oh, I've been walking for miles. My feet are killing me. But at least there's no mouldy old tea bag telling me what to do. Idea. All right, all right. You were nicking my crisps. What a rotten thing to do. I'm sorry, but I was starving. I haven't eaten all day. 
Really? Not a thing. Carl, you must be famished. Yes. Well, all you had to do was ask. Here, have this. What? All of it? Of course. Great, thanks. Not a bad day, really. What's that? Can't be Nick already. Anyway, Nick wouldn't knock. Come in. Excuse me. What do you want? Uh, I was looking for this boy. Boy? Boy? What boy? His name's Nick Dit. Oh, Nick, you won't find him here. He's out. Now go. It's my supper time. Go away. Ouch! Now, what do I fancy? Hmm. And that's it. And if I didn't steal for him, he would do terrible things to my mother and my father. He's a monster. Hey, wait a minute. All that stuff you stole for him, where is it? He keeps it in a huge vault in his house. Why? Well, we could get it all back from him and return it to the people you stole it from in the first place. And I'm sure they'd be so happy to get it all back, they would offer you a reward. Then you'd have enough money to buy your mum and dad a nice place to live. Then you wouldn't have to steal from him anymore. Great idea. But there's one problem. What? There's only one way in and one way out of that vault. How do we get past the old monster? He sits there all day long, gorging himself. Oh. Got it. What? He'd let me in his vault if he thinks I brought him this. But I will need some help. Would you care to lie down, sir? And I will take you for a ride. This is brilliant. Nobody will mind us borrowing this rug. I'll have it back in half an hour. Are you all right? Yep. Great. It's all so boring. If I wasn't so famished, I wouldn't eat all this boring food. It's all the same. Oh, for something different. What the? Well, hello there. Who are you? A, B, C. A? B, C, exactly. Acme Bun Company. Bun? Sticky buns are speciality. Eclairs and pastries, donuts, flans and cream cakes. Who I say? Only the best. Made from the finest ingredients gathered from the four corners of the earth and made by the finest bakers in the land. Ooh. Fit for a prince. Imagine what it must be like to sink your teeth into that crumbly, flaky pastry oh, there oh. and feel the fresh squidgy cream swirling round your tongue oh, oh. and lick the delicate chocolate from your lips and force the jam through the gaps in your teeth. Stop! I must have them, all of them. It'll cost you. I don't care, I've got to have them. It'll cost you, dear. Oh, hang the cost, I'll buy them, I'll buy them. Name your price, anything at all, but I must have very well. I'll give you this lot if you'll give me the small gold bells that you have. Yes. Is it a deal? Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. Well. Um. The bells? I haven't all day. I, I just finished this. Come on, come, come on. on. Oh, this is a treat. I'll treat you if you don't cough up those bells. No, just one more. No, oh. enough's enough. I've kept oh. my side of the bargain, now you must keep yours. I will, I will, but just, just one more. Master, master. Oh, this is ridiculous. Look, I have for you this beautiful rug for your collection. No, oh, go on, roll it out, let's have a look. Roll it out? I've had enough. I'm not waiting a moment longer. No, oh, yes, all right. Very good, boy. Now go and put it in there with the rest of the stuff. Uh -huh. Now look, I'm going to count to three. If those bells aren't in my hands by then... Madam, I can do nothing with my hands in this state. One moment. The last gold bell. Deborah! I have it. I have it, Miss Hateful Horrible. The last gold bell is mine, mine. I don't believe it. The last vital link here in my hand. Without this, you're scuppered, washed up. You can keep those gold bells for all I care. As long as I have this, everything is hunky-dory. Master, master, oh, what have I done? Will you ever be able to forgive me? I have just discovered 
The rug I brought you, it's infested with moths. Moths? They'd be eating their way through everything. Your tapestries, your paintings, they'd all be ruined. Well, but, but quick, quick, get, get that carpet out of here. Go on, hurry. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Hurry up, will you? Come on, get it out of here. Take it away. Get rid of it. Get that carpet out of this house. Go on, boy. I'll put a firework on you. Out you go. Carpet? As I was saying. No, Teabag. You don't need to say any more. You've won. Fair and square. I have lost everything. Serves you right, too. I'm just going to have to go back empty-handed. I failed. And that's that. <laughs> ah! Thanks. Curse you, Deborah! Curse you! Wait a minute. Why am I worrying? I only needed one gold bell to foil her little plot, but she needs all the bells to win, and she has one. And you have the rest, and I want them. No arguments, hand them over. Look here, I don't understand this. Shut I... up! Just hand them over. All right, don't fuss me. There's no problem, they're just in here. No! Oh, I've been robbed! Pardon? Robbed! Robbed! What? Every last scrap, including your blistering golden bells. You oh, stupid! Oh, madam, oh! Madam, no! No, no, no! Oh! Well, that's me back at the start again, with one gold bell and seven more to get. Great, isn't it? <laughs> it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. It worked like a dream. I know. What a laugh. Right, and I have enough reward money here to buy my mother and my father a nice place to live. They won't have to worry anymore. I've done my last stealing. T-shirt. Debbie, hiya. Have you heard the good news? I've left tea bag. Oh, yes. It's true. A real den of thieves we have here. This is Nick. He's my pal. Math figures. You stole my bells, you thief. I know. And I'm sorry. But now, I'm giving them back. What? We're giving them back. But it's true. You really have left tea bag? Yep. They're all here too. I've got the lot. You know what that means, don't you? What? We can get rid of tea bag once and for all. Forever! I'm all for that. Do you want to come back with me to find Major Happy? Well, do you mind? No, go, go. Do what you have to do. It's been great fun. Bye. Bye-bye. Come on, then. Nothing can stop us now. I hope you're right. <laughs> the little fools. Do they honestly imagine I'm just going to sit up here and watch their feeble attempts to wipe me out? <laughs> As if. Well, children, the fun and games are over. I've let you get this far. But now it's time to get serious. I'll never forgive that boy for deserting me. Never, never. What's going to brew up for me now? It's never as good when I do it. Oh, that's all I need. Clear off, you old goat. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here's how I can kill two birds with one stone prevent those wretched children from meeting up with him and get myself a new tea caddy into the bargain. Oh! Why am I so clever all of the time? Major, Major, time for tea. Hear me calling, come to me.